And new this morning, pulling back the curtain on homelessness in Nashville. Metro officials are sharing what day-to-day -day life is like for people living in these encampments as they look at the next steps addressing the issue. Nikel Smith joining us in studio to explain. Good morning, Neil. This has been a long-standing issue in Nashville, but Metro leaders feel they are making progress. According to the Homeless Impact Division, they housed more than 1,600 people between May of last year and April of this year. There has been a 15% drop from the previous 12 months. They also said almost 48% of people have have been sent to rapid rehousing. Now, the director of Nashville's Homeless Impact Division led a tour of an encampment last week. We're not allowed to say where it's located, but it is here in the Nashville area. We talked with one woman living in the encampment. She did not want to be identified for safety reasons, but said she had been out there on and off for 10 years. She felt oftentimes there isn't enough help for people in her situation, and they're also fighting the stigma that comes with not having a home of your own. People, they judge you out here when you're out here. They automatically assume that you're on drugs or you're an alcoholic or you're a prostitute. And that's not true. I'm not gonna lie, I've had my dabbles with drugs. But that just caused more problems than really it's worth. Metro's new Housing First initiative elevated their focus on the chronically homeless with a goal to house 25 people a month. They're now averaging 31 per month. We talk with Homeless Outreach Coordinator Lakeisha Davenport. She goes out to assess homelessness with individuals experiencing it firsthand. She says their goal is to make connections. First thing you have to do is build a relationship uh, with the individuals that are unhoused. Uh, they, don't, they don't all trust. Some trust easy, some don't trust. So build a relationship uh, and get them connected with the services they need, figure out what services they need. Metro launched an initiative in December, closing encampments at Brookmead Park and Wentworth Caldwell Park. They wrapped assessments this week and will now review the threat level score from each encampment to select which ones will be in the next phase. Nikki.